friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Oh, it is Monday, 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 Monday. <laughs> Not as much fun as Friday, saying Friday, 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 but it is Monday. So I have a few housekeeping things first. I am going to move the Oh My Stars Table Runner down to like the last week in February and we'll start it. We'll do like a spring. I'll encourage you to do spring colors because that's what I'm going to do, but you can do any kind of colors you want, but I need to shift that one over there. Uh, so, so that's happening. The owls start next week. So, you know, I did move that one so that we didn't have things doubled, doubled up. So those are the kind of two housekeeping things, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about, let's talk about the 10th anniversary. Look at this from my, I got my t-shirt on today because you know, or the sweatshirt because it's cold here in Virginia still sweatshirt. Uh, because today I have another giveaway for the 10th anniversary, but first let me tell you who were the winners of the last two that were out there, the thread and the batting. And I do put the winner on the page where you entered. So if you ever want to go look, I email you personally from my email account and I tell you that what it's for and I tell you what you wrote, what your comment was. And so all of that is in, and I have from um, the thread Shirley. It's going to Shirley who said she loves colors for applique and quilting and then she loves the neutrals for her piecing. So she will be getting a perfect box of neutrals, my, my thread collection. And then I'm waiting for Helen Margaret to email me back and she uh, is getting the batting. So I'm waiting on that. So Helen Margaret wrote, she's working on UFOs and she's down to just four UFOs and that getting a roll of batting will definitely help, definitely help her. So if I don't hear from Helen Margaret in a few days, I will cancel that and I will pick another name. So that's how it works. I just wait a few days because I can't wait forever. We gotta, we got, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. You gotta be checking your emails, people. Check, check, check. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now for a giveaway? This is exciting. The Fat Quarter Shop has a gift certificate for $150 in their store uh, to anywhere, anywhere, international, US, whatever. So that is the exciting one today. And you enter at my website like you've always been doing, except for the sewing machine. The sewing machine, you go to sewing parts online. Uh, so that is over at theirs. And I have the link to them down in the description box. Uh, and at my website today. So if you didn't get in on winning a sewing machine, a jubilant uh, from my friends at Sewing Parts Online, you wanna be sure to enter that one as well. And that one you enter, like I said, at their website. So the gift certificate is fabulous because you can always find something wonderful for an upcoming quilt along we're doing, any of those things. So it is the end of our drawing room. Drawing room. So there is the full quilt. So fun. This is such a fun block to do. You know, I did a nine block version with a border. So for those of you who wanted to make this one bigger and wonder what the border would look like on it, here is the nine block version. So you can see it again. So this one, we need to pick a backing for it. Let me show you what backing I did, uh, did on the original, let's see. Here we go. So it is the drawing room wide back. It's the big floral in tan, has the tan background on it. Now these, the florals for the back, the backing fabric, which is a wide back, these are wide backs. Uh, this floral is a larger floral than what is in the fabric line itself. And so the wide backs are a slight, they're the same print as that, but just larger, uh, larger scale. So let's take a look. I've got them here. We're just going to take a look at, at the wide backs and then pick one for mine. Something different. We'll do pick one of the different ones. So here, because mine has like with the dark border on it, I'm thinking one of the darker ones. So I've got quite a few wide backs for drawing room, which is really nice. So you have lots and lots of fun options. So I've got the, t the cream, which is like very, very gorgeous. 
you could actually use, you, know, you could buy the wide backs and use them for piecing. There's, you know, no reason why you can't. It's just they're different. You know, they're 108 inches wide, so they are, you know, it's a lot more fabric at once. But the scale is just wonderful. So there is the very lightest. Now there is also a very light blue, which I would love to just get a whole cloth of this. Just get a big piece of this and make it like a lap size. It'd be actually maybe really pretty for the bed, like a queen size for the bed. Isn't that, wouldn't that be beautiful? Then I have the blue with a, t with a little bit more color in it and the yellow. <gasps> look, look at that. So, no, but these don't really, I don't think they're gonna, this one needs, I think one of the darker ones. So this is what is on the one I just showed you. So that is with the tan, with the browns uh, in it. But this comes in a lighter, slightly lighter version. Look at that. We did so many pretty wide backs for this line. So you can really pick what works for you and which pieces in the collection you used. Okay, so the two I'm thinking about are the two darker ones. Either the, the charcoal, which I think will go really well with this one. And it was one of the options of the smaller scale to use for the border. Or I could go with the blue. So the blue, the navy, you know, darker blue, which um, will, you know, I think that's pretty as well, but I'm really leaning towards the charcoal because of having the darker border on it, having this as the border. So I just think that that would be a good combination, but let me know in the comments because you might have a totally different idea and I would love to hear it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let me show you. Oh my gosh, these cords. I'm like stepping on them, hold on. Uh, <laughs> so I decided I needed to just sort of fix a little few things up. Not, not so much fix them up. I needed to get to get to decide something to work on. I had to, you know, like not like I have like 800 things, but I had to pick something because there were several. So, so first take a look. Let's start here. So I have the sea glass blocks, but I'm not uh, right now gonna gonna put those up. So I'm looking at some other stuff. Here is a quilt to get binding on it. This is one that we did last year and it is with my fabric that I just feel, I think it feels like springy with the lavenders and the teals. And so I wanna get that, I have to do a hanging sleeve and then binding on this one. I did not make binding for this one. So I have to make the binding. Couldn't find any binding. These are the four patches, fat quarter four patches, which I need to put up on the wall. That one I want to get the top sewn. And then I have to, I have to get the Reese cut for the Christmas all year. The first block is Reese. And so I want to do that for Wendy's quilt along. And so I've got the fabrics here to do that. And what else do I have out here? Okay, so I was cutting some more uh, perfect 10 blocks with the horse fabrics and I have here's another here's a set of four another set of four and um, there's some more to go with this set of four I'm doing four like four at a time and then I wrote down I know like the pineapple fabric right the pineapple paper I need like 14 more blocks after these and so that is that is what I'll do with that and then down here I am working on this cross stitch, which I like, whoops, hold on. This is a total reboot. Um, I had to pick out some of this and there was a peak already done. And then I kind of started the roof up here, but I had to pick that out. So now I think I'm back on track because I did this quite a few years ago when Kimberly first came out with the Cross Stitch University. This is a free pattern. It's a great one to start with. She had you start with this frame, which now I personally would not do the frame until the end because I'm just not that comfortable with counting all of that and getting it accurate. Um, there's usually a kit so you can just get the threads and the cloth and everything. And so I want to finish this one up because I think it is so darling. I love the colors, that blue with the, the pops of green and the white, the white star here, so nice. So that is the other thing. And then you can see, 
I have an empty design wall, which I was probably going to get those blocks put up on it. So what I actually decided to do after that was a binding. And so I've got the Festivals and Fireworks. I couldn't think of the name of it as I was going past it there. I had the Festival of Fireworks and I got it out to do the binding. But wait, let me just show you how I had to organize my table surface. In order to get ready to do binding, do you have to do this as well? Especially if it's a bigger quilt like this Festivals and Fireworks, I need to move the camera over onto here. I have to move coasters and clappers and the basket of there the basket of electronics and then usually there's a tool thing here oh I have to put hand lotion on before I start the whole thing right so I've got well I should clear this should move this as well let's put it down here it's where I've been putting it and then I put this thing over here I put some sewing over there like everything has to be moved uh, so I can do, I can do, I can do binding. And now, now it's cleared off. So I'll move this and I can get the binding on. Whoops. So it's a, it's a, it's a big deal, isn't it? When you get ready to either bind a bar, a bigger quilt or a uh, machine quilt, a bigger quilt, which is going to take you even longer. Uh, it, you have to get organized. I can't just put it down because my space here between the legs of this camera, the leg of the camera is right here. I just have like this as far as how the camera is from my machine. And so I have to move it like you just saw. And that really help, helps me out. So here is Festival and Fireworks. Quilt, the binding's on. I went with that, went with a turquoise. I'll show you in a second. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm getting like the clip came undone and it's pulling on my mic. Okay, here we go. So I've got, got it all got it all ready and I use I have my harmony wide back in this lavender so I just think this is spring looks like spring I cannot wait to hang this I have to stitch the hanging sleeve I decided since I'm gonna hang it in my living room up behind the sofa I needed to put a hanging sleeve and this is the aqua I went with a little floral rather than like the tiny print which here's the tiny print in the line which I think also this one, and which comes in a couple of colors. That would have also been really nice, but I really like this floral. So there we go. Now I have to hand stitch. Now you saw I was working on the cross stitch and you know I can only do so much hand stitching at, at one time because I only have so much time to devote to that. Now I am just all caught up, hold on. There we go. So if I am hand stitching uh, cross stitch, I'm doing cross stitch, then I'm not really like doing hand work on quilt things. So if I'm doing hand work on quilt things, I'm not doing the hand work on the cross stitch. So I have to um, hand stitch this down, which is totally fine. It won't take that long. But I wanted to show you that I am being super lazy and I am not going to find a lavender thread. No, no, no. I decided I have some threads that are out in this room in a bin and I just went through there and I found this blue, whoops, there it is, this blue that leans just a little bit, a little bit purpley. It doesn't look like it on camera, but it does in person. And so I just put one thread down, just one thread, and it works really well. So my tip is <clears throat> you don't always have to have the exact thread you don't have to have a thread that matches exact for it to work so if you don't own a thread that matches exactly look for something else all right they have a few other things i have a table topper book parade let's take a look barbie's quilt has gorgeous roses on it you can see them in the center the big center square and down uh, in the four corners almost all of them have some of the big rose fabric and then she has some other little image fabrics that she's used it is so pretty betsy did this piece with one of the um quilts in the book i love it i love it the blue and the green with the pops of peach so nice Colleen, she has a tulip pink fabric with the um, tribute to 
Alice in Wonderland. There we go. Got the words out. But you can see the Alice in the middle, and then there's loads of the novelty fabrics, the cats and the teacups. Alice in Wonderland is my favorite, favorite, favorite book of all time. Jennifer's, this is so awesome. That is, a, I think, navy. Might be blacks and navies in there, but the center is lobsters, and she has the lobsters then repeated in a bunch of the blocks, and I think there is lobsters on red and lobsters on blue. No, the blue is other fish, like, um, yeah, yeah, you can see other fish and seashells. This is so incredible, incredible. I love it, love it, love it. We've got a braid by Jennifer in these warm and cozy, cozy fall fabrics. And she did the wave stitch. Looks so good. Karen has the sampler. I love it. Love it. All these samplers turned out so amazing. Peach, the peach looks really good in this one. Really, and then the border is a diagonal stripe. Just spectacular, spectacular. Kendall, our ambassador, shared his. I love it, love it, love it. So he's got nice, rich, saturated colors. And the um, sashing fabrics are all the same. Uh, and it looks so good. Just so, so good. Lily did the braid in this beautiful yellow and gray. Yellow and gray is so classic. It just makes gorgeousness however you use it. And she did two of them, one with a border and one without, and without so you can see. Linda, look at Linda's, oh, the pinks and reds and a bit of green. She has uh, a lot of, there's a lot of rose fabric. If you look at the four corners around the center, there's a rose in the middle of each one. It is just so awesome. Pat's is great too. I mean, it's beautiful with that gray and the burgundy and the pops of gold. Oh my goodness, so, so gorgeous. It looks very elegant. And we'll wrap up with our ambassador, Suzanne's. And she has the turquoises with reds and navies with pops of green. It is just spectacular. I love them all. Thank you so much for sharing. I really love seeing your quilts from my Table Topper book. Now, when we were doing the sampler, there were lots and lots and lots of quilts. This is just a group of people who shared it again when I put a call out for uh, projects you made from my, my book. Um, but if you go through the gallery now, you know, it takes a while. We have a lot of pictures in the gallery at our um, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan page, but a group. So, uh, but anyways, th there's lots in there. Now, our friends at the Confidence Stitch, they have a swatch club that I've told you about like every quarter. And you can either subscribe to get the swatch club sent to you uh, every quarter, or you can just buy that quarter. They don't have, you can buy it without being in the subscription. And so they sent me pictures of this uh, quarter. They always put together an amazing group of fabrics. They have such a great eye for color. It's very unique. It is not a designer put together. It's put together by the Confident Stitch Shop by Kate, who is the owner. Uh, and then usually you can make something with the swatches. They showed you how to make these little pouches. And then you can buy, the, with the same fabrics, they all also do a kit, which is um, a, a quilt. So it's more fabric than the swatch kit. And here's the kit. I love this clean, fast, contemporary look of this quilt because it's something you can put together quickly and enjoy those fabrics. It's really, really beautiful. And so you can buy just the swatches if you want them because you like them and you want to do something with them. They're five inch squares or you can get the kit. Um, so I want to tell you about that because it, they do a limited number. It's an extremely limited number. Uh, and you can go over their website, link is below and at my website today. Before I finish doing the video, this came in the mail. So let's take a look at the swatches. The actual swatches for the Confident Stitches Club. So here they are. Look, the little snails. Oh my goodness. Look, look, look. How darling are they? And then they always put in some pretty solids for you to work with. This is gorgeous. Look at that. I think it might be a woven. See, it's the same. Whoops, the same on either side. Oh, it feels so nice too. Super cute. These look like little little white berries of some type. Uh, nice basic in yellow. There's a golden solid. And then this horizontal stripe. 
so cool so cool little rainbows on green and then a sagey green solid see they have such a great eye for color and they pull all these different fabric lines there is looks and it looks like circuit boards <laughs> might be my computer my computer stuff talking a pretty floral look at that tossed in there a spring floral and then a blue cornflower blue this is kind of a painterly piece on a light light pink and then kind of a mauvey purpley pink and then this purple with that same yeah you can get yardage of any of this from their website as well look at that look at that a tone on tone a white a white on white there you, you can actually see the print white on white and that same stripe in a beige and white i love that that is so cool i'm going to look up what that is and then a little pretty floral so this is these are the fabrics so you can do either kind of those little pouches or you can buy the kit and it'll be a darling springtime kit for you ah, get that for the backing right get that for the backing lastly there are celebrations for today and i was hoping to um, well, maybe start pulling fabric for this one. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to try that another day this week. I just wasn't in a mindset for doing that today for this video, but there are celebrations for today and the polka dots is polka dot day. How cool. I love polka dots. Totally love polka dots. So if you have quilts with polka dots, it is answer your cat's questions day. <laughs> what is that answer your cat's question well that cracked me up so much because i have this cat quilt that i want to make um i think i've mentioned before that my brother-in-law and sister-in-law have uh quite a few cats and their their pride and joy and i thought i need to make this for them uh and it's fat quarter friendly and it comes with three different sizes plus i think there's a digital download too so you don't have to wait so i just had to show you that but it is answer your cat's question day so if you have quilt with cats on it yes no not the cats themselves no printed cats quilted cats <laughs> you already share enough of your own cats that's that's enough. not not for today uh, and then let's see yeah that's it that is it so enter the giveaway enter the 10th anniversary giveaway I'm very excited this month there are still a few more giveaways after this one because I wanted this month to be a amazing kickoff a thank you for being in my community and a kickstart to an awesome 2024 so I love you Mwah. thank you for being here in the Sloan zone I will see you online